you know, and he's the guy who taught me po the power of positive thinking, that guy right there. When I was a super negative junior golfer, <laughs> like super negative junior golfer, always dwelling on all the negative things I did and never really excited about the good things I did, you know, dad always preached to me the power of positive thinking. He used those words all the time. And I just used to get really annoyed. <laughs> and then that's when I realized that someday I need to figure out what it is he actually means by that. And it's crazy that I feel like that's the strong point of what we do here. You know, it's just, you know, the, the power of positive thinking. Um, it's crazy. I'm, I'm starting off the session like that because, you know, I know I haven't seen you in a minute. You know, obviously a lot of stuff going on in the world and stuff. And I know that you hadn't, that the season was gone for you really with the with college golf. Um, but you know what's crazy though? You just get, a, you get excited to compete. You get excited to be out here to work on your game. Excited about the next opportunity. When bad things happen, you're actually like, you trigger your mind to get excited about the challenge that that then, you know, led uh, for you. It's pretty cool how you can really get yourself to play better golf and at least be a lot more free with the way you go about it yeah. with that excitement. Um, you know who does that well? He does it well outwardly. I don't know how he feels internally because I can't answer that question, but Jimmy, who's coming next, who you're going to meet also. Yeah. yeah, his boy. Jimmy's, Jimmy's always positive, right? And it makes life a lot more enjoyable to, you know, not only to be around, but then also to, I feel like he's, he opens the door for himself to get more things accomplished and get things done. I feel like that, like the positivity also has like a different drive, you know, it's like, it's like you can have that positivity, it just gives you a little bit more, I don't know how, how to explain it, but just like, just that one extra leg. When you said the word more, I already knew what you meant. You know what I mean? Because it just gives you that, yeah, it saves you the extra leg. It gives you just, you know, hey, I can only do 30. <laughs> Guess what? There's 40, you know, whatever it is. But, um, God, that, that force carried 270. Oh, come on. I got that. Yeah, absolutely. And then you swing freely and you get it. Um, the whole point is, um, yeah, it's, it's the best way to start your day. It's the best way to start any session. It's, it's something that people need to be reminded of all the time. I, you know, there's not enough of it in the world. Um, and you look at the ones who really get it done. And what's so cool about the opportunity to be around, I, you probably take notice, you know, we, we don't put a lot, we don't put as much of it on social media as we could, but we get, a lo we get really lucky to be around a lot of professional athletes who are, get excited because they, you know, whether they follow us on the gram or, the, or they just heard from a buddy that, hey, you should go see this guy. Um, we get to learn from them equally as much as they get to learn from us. Sometimes I feel like we learn more, not only from our players, the guys like you, uh, than, we, than you guys learn from us sometimes because we're watching what you guys do when you're doing your best. And then Mike and I have been able to, um, through just what we believe is correct with the golf swing, with a combination of um, positivity. So you have clarity with what you're working on and doing, and then you have a good outlook on how you go about it and the excitement to work on it, the excitement to put it into play. If it's a, br if it's a battle, the excitement to deal with it. Um, that stuff to me really, it just makes this whole process so much more enjoyable and it gives you that edge, it gives you more. Yeah. So you're 100% right about that. That's where we're starting today. Getting excited about getting better. And all I want you telling me right now is just like, give me, we're gonna get you back here on the good grass here. Let me, let me know um, what's been going on lately with your golf game. Where are you gaining shots? Where are you where are you feel like? Uh, what's the best part of your game right now? What do you think's like something that you're like, dude? I feel so good about that. Ooh, really trying to work on like long game, where it's just kind of. I've been putting a lot of work with like Cody. I see him like. Week, I know. I, I see you. I see you in there, dude. He sent me the videos. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So I've been trying to not only just like chase, trying to get it like out there, but also it's just like kind of just like the work gets me swing easier. I, I feel like that's kind of the. Something I've been trying to work on. Um, I feel like also it's just like I can swing for your. Do you feel like through your workouts with Cody yeah. that you're able to do that yeah. and see yourself actually not hit it shorter? Yeah. Because that's the that that's the big thing, right? You, it's one thing to say like, hey, I'm gonna swing for you know smooth. And that pitching wedge goes a nice 110 right there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then you know and then. Be able to say, okay, no, this is truly kind of smooth right here. This is this is pretty smooth, but it's okay. There's the 140 I need out of that, you know, and and that's I feel like that you're 100% spot on with what you're doing and how, how you're going about it because Cody and I stay up. He does tell me about all my guys and how they're doing, you know, 
And but just so the viewer knows, Cody, CS1 Fit, you can follow him on Instagram. He's awesome. I mean, Jared would preach. Yeah. I mean, the guy is just awesome at his job, and we appreciate people like that. Um, he's also like my family, godfather of my child. <laughs> so, you know, he's just the man. Um, but anyways, Cody is our trainer. He works with a lot of great athletes. Um, works with this my, this my man right here, Jared. He works with Jimmy, who's coming next. But hey, all we're trying to do is work in that gym to make the swing more effortless. Fire from the right parts of the golf swing. Understand how to use the ground. Understand the connection of the core between the core and the hands. And what's nice is I see those workouts and I literally look at them and I go, dude, these guys are getting better at golf in the gym. And, and where I would even keep challenging our man Cody is just keep telling him like, dude, this is what I want to do. Like, I want to, I'm hitting it here. Cause you know him, yeah. like, I mean, he's already pushing you probably. I mean, if you haven't thrown up in Cody's gym, like there's this, like, it's definitely like, dude. You did like a couple sets, come back up and you're just like a little bit dizzy and you're like, okay. Sit there for like 30 seconds and then you're good to go again. <laughs> See, I'm right there with you. See, I feel like I'm that guy that has that mental edge where it's not, I'm not gonna throw up, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> you like, it's like, I like that. Cause like you work on, you work out by yourself and you're just like going through the reps, but like, like Cody really pushes you and tries to get the most out, which is yeah. great. I, I've, I've, I've had the luxury of working out with him many times and it's, and, you know, and, and it's just, but actually working out with him where he's working out with me. And the problem is because we've grown up together, you know, if he's doing 20, I have to do 21. And if I do 21, he does 28. And then I do 29 and then he does 38. And I fall. <laughs> so, no, it's, it's good though. Here we go. Let's get into this. I want to see how you're swinging. I want to, I just wanted to also ask you the last question. How... Like what's the what's the weakness? Like what's the thing you need to really improve today? Something that can like definitively get better. Overall, I've been trying to work on my short game. Okay. Uh, trying to put some alleys in, put the reps in. But today, uh, I feel like the wedges. I'll work on those. Uh, I feel like, like I said, I can, like, put myself. I feel like the old long game has improved over the last year, and then I just have to leave myself a lot of wedges. And I really okay. Want to kind of be able to be consistent with those. Are you flighting them decent or are you, are you seeing like... I've been trying to, but it's just like never really like I've tried to flight them, but just not, not like a pull, pull hook a little bit. Do you ever hit the weak right or the, and the pull hook? Yeah. It's just on the like, just consistency with those. Yeah. Uh, I know that flighting it does improve consistency, but it's just like trying to get there. Yeah, and like and like how to do it, yeah, and not be forced, you know? Yeah, we're gonna do it in a good way today. The one thing about that that shot in general, I think practicing wedges is extremely important because the efficiency it takes to hit a wedge the right way uh, consistently, you just put that into a bigger swing with a little bit more turn, and it really helps you control the club face through the bottom of the swing. Um, but the big thing is that we set up to get the most out of it. I think people don't do enough with their setup with a wedge to get the flight you need. You can set up in a certain way just by getting a little closer, a little narrower. Closer gets you more on top of it without having to try to be. Getting a little bit narrower gets the swing a little bit more V-shape without having to try to be. And then that way you can really use your body and have a Steve Stricker, Zach Johnson-esque type of motion where you're not really actively hinging and driving the hands. That's the inconsistency. It, to me, it's using the hands and the body in sequence together and really feeling like the body's rotation hits the shot um, and, and of course, you know, every great, every great athlete has that awareness of what these are doing at all times, but in connection to the golf club, this is all connected. So, you know, one thing I think that people don't talk about enough is when you open up your hand on the club face, Jared, like that is the club face. So when you're turning around fixed points, you're maintaining the awareness of where the club face is relative to your body's rotation. And I think that that's, you know, keeping it in line with the body center, feeling what it's doing as you rotate around your left side. That with a wedge is what squares the club face up. And when you're very centered, it also gets the bottom of your swing right on top of the golf ball and the low point past the ball, which controls the club face as well. So chances are with the setup, there's probably like three things in the setup that we could do better that are actually gonna like help you make the same swing you're making, get a better result. And then we'll highlight one thing in the swing that you needs to be your main goal to just quiet the hands down, 
make sure that it's all in sequence and that you just have a nice little smooth move through the golf ball and the club's delivering with the ideal loft that it needs to because not because you're thinking about that just because you have a little feel that creates it okay all right cool um get your get your wedges out because i want to make those awesome right away dude look at these head covers this head cover game is pretty yeah, no, sweet like, like the, wait where, what's going on like these are the u.s open tailor-made head covers i thought they were just super cool because they're just like I don't know, like just so Southern like, California. Yeah, I know. No, like, like I so I sweet. Got a little, little Sunday bag going. Through. Like how, like the the USGA needs to come in hot, and they need to get Johnny O's stuff for the <laughs> anything on the West Coast, like Southern California especially. I feel like, like see that vibe right there. TaylorMade gets it. That's exactly what uh, I feel Johnny O does a great job of. Is they do the same kind of just feel, right? Southern California. Those colors are awesome. It's awesome. It's cool. Hardest ones, the shortest ones. Or the hardest ones, the medium range ones? Medium, I mean, I would say medium. Yeah. Like the one to that red flag right there off the sly. Yeah. Yeah, hit that shot for me. Let's see, let's see it. Let's make it awesome today. Dude, how sweet is that thing? Red flag? Yeah, red flag. By the way, it's like, that's like 60. And I should, we shouldn't guess on that, so I should probably get a range finder out. Get that range finder out, yep. 